So we're out here with a Radio Master TX-16 and a Turbo Timber. We're going to talk a little bit about how to make safe work and assign a channel with a Radio Master without using forward programming. Then we're going to go into forward programming and I'll show you that it does change the channel via forward programming without just to look at it. And we're not actually changing anything in forward programming. We're just going to look. So first things first, you need to assign a switch to a channel. This switch is on channel nine. Y'all see the monitor move? This switch is on channel eight. And we're gonna switch between these two switches to show how to move it around. So first things first, you have to bind it correctly. If your airplane don't do what this does, there's one, there's two. If it doesn't do the second one, the receiver doesn't even have safe turned on in it. You need to rebind with the proper procedure. So we're back to this. So safe's over here right now. Listen, you hear the elevator click? Show the aileron. So there's safe. There's no safe. Safe, no safe. All right. So we're going to change it to this switch. See, it doesn't do anything right now. So you go six down and in. One, two, three, four, five. Now, y'all see safe working? That's safe on, that's safe off. Safe on, safe off. We're gonna switch it right back to this to this one. So we're gonna go down and in, both sticks together. You heard the click. Now safe is over here. That's all you gotta do. Now, you see it's on channel eight and nine was where I was at. I'm gonna put it back over here because that's where I run it. Uh -oh. Heard the click. It's back over there. So safe's on channel eight. That's a 637 TA in there. It has six outputs. But I wanted both my flaps to do this with the ailerons. So that's what the aileron control. That my flaps act like full length ailerons now. So you can assign a safe channel above six, and it's actually channel six to ten, or seven through ten, but seven's used for reverse thrust on mine. And uh we went to channel eight, and I just done channel nine for the demonstration. So let's go into forward programming and look at what channel it's actually assigned to. Looking in the receiver. There's channel eight right there. I wonder if I can, let's see here. So we're gonna go down and in. Ah, now, did y'all just see it turn to channel nine? See what's the channel nine? So that's moving the channel in the receiver. That's what we're looking at. It's telemetry back. Let me set this down. Come over here and get on it for I can. Maybe we can get it an active move back to eight. So there's down and in. Just change to eight. There's channel eight back. I hope this helps you, man. It's really easy to do. The only reason I was having to do the throws limitation was because I learned something figuring this out, so I'm pleased. But right here, if you enable max throw, you have to pull the endpoints back to make safe work. As long as you don't do that, you can leave them at 100 and it works fine. So uh made my life easier. I've been enabling max throw on all mine and been having a fight with safe with the endpoints to make it work. So maybe this makes life easier. Hope this helps y'all.